What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a uh, opening unboxing of a new knife. It's a Civivi Elementum with carbon fiber scales. Now I've wanted this for a while, uh, going back to when they originally announced them. Um, they also did a drop of a bunch of different uh, knives, and at the time I didn't really think much about it. I didn't think it was an exclusive um, for Blade HQ, so I just put it in my cart as a wish list, and I'll get it some other time. Um, and then when I did want to get it, it was gone, and it was gone for quite a while. Um, but secondarily to that is I didn't know if I would like the knife. I didn't know if I would like uh, the brand as far as how the action is and everything like that. Um, so I ended up getting this Civivi Elementum with copper scales back then, and it's great. Uh, everything the way it fits in my hand uh, the way the the jimping on the back, uh, my where it lands on my thumb, um, the little uh, lip here where I can stop my finger, um, it's just great. Uh, for very basic shape, the ergonomics are really good inside of my hand because of the, the the thickness of it and the length. Overall, this is about seven inches. The blade is about three inches, which for me is a really good uh, everyday carry style. Uh, knife somewhere in that six and a half to seven and a half inch overall in the blade of probably um, Three to four inches is somewhere in the sweet spot for me is something I like to have um, And I really do like this knife except I find myself only carrying it sometime between fall and spring And that's because it's very heavy. So putting these in shorts uh, It will pull them down when you have everything else in your pants or shorts. I mean um it is 4.68 ounces. The new one is 2.71. So that's a difference of almost two ounces. That's about half the weight of this. So I'm excited to open up and see what they got uh, going on with it um, compared to some of my other carbon fiber um, knives and just uh, see how it is action out of the box and uh, feel in hand. All right, so here's the box it comes in. Just a pretty plain white box. Uh, on the side here, it says marble carbon fiber handle, black stainless steel liner, black stonewash D2 blade. Now the thing with that is this is pretty much exactly the same knife. Uh, this is a D2 blade. It has uh, black stainless liners. Um, the only difference is, is the scales uh, are copper versus carbon fiber. Um, so should be very similar. I don't have any other knives that I've bought purposely. Um, because I liked it and bought a variant of it as of yet. Uh, all the other knives I have are just uh, singles. I do have a Kershaw where I bought two of them, but the reason was because I wanted to make one that they didn't make, which was a black blade and car copper scales actually. Uh, so I bought a, uh, a silver blade with copper scales and a black blade, black scales, and I swapped them. So now I have a copper and black one and a silver and a black one. But uh, anyway, let's get to opening this up and see what it looks like. This is, um, from what I've seen, come to expect with Civivi, they come in these pouches. Um, nice zipper pouch. The only thing for me with zipper pouches is once you take the knife out of them, unless it's a collector piece, you, you never use this thing again. It just kind of goes on the shelf. So, uh, unfortunately, it's very nice, uh, but it doesn't get used much. Um, these cloths are nice, so cleaning cloths. Uh, mainly use these for my cameras and uh, glasses and stuff. Comes with a little Civivi sticker. Oh, this is neat. I didn't know that was going to be in there. So it's a uh, sticker of an elementum looks like uh, green scales and a silver blade love your knife share your experience it's pretty cool little guy there and for the moment of truth oh that is nice it's kind of like wool lined there we go there's the marbled carbon fiber scales and as expected, it is much, much lighter. Uh, you can see the marbling from the carbon. And you got the black 
stonewash D2 blade. Now to me, this isn't much of a stonewash. If you look at it, it's it's pretty black. To me, stonewash is, um, it's usually got like nicks and stuff in it um, where it looks like it's actually been washed in stones. But uh, I do like the finish on here. It's, it's not completely um, matte. It's, it's, I guess, a little satinish. It doesn't have much sheen to it, but it's not like a chalky matte and obviously not gloss. Um, so let's see how this opens up. I think these have the same clip on them as well. Yeah, they do. So it's the same exact clip. You know, you got a little lanyard hole in the back here. The pivot looks exactly the same. So it's it looks like the identical knife, just different scales. Yeah. A little flipper tab in the back. And it is a liner lock, as you probably saw with this one. There's the liner there. Stainless steel liner, as I mentioned. All right, let's see how this one opens up. Fail on the first one. So let's see if we give it a little more. There we go. It doesn't have as much uh, weight to it, so it, um, even though it's in the scales, um, I feel like the, the copper one opens up a little easier. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I'll probably get more used to it. But it's, th that was the first time opening it. And, and this one has been... Um, had uh, lube applied to it at some point. As expected, much, much lighter. Um, takes a little more force, it seems like, to open up. It may loosen up, uh, I'm sure it will. I can't remember if this is on bearings or washers. I would expect it to be on washers for the price, but knowing Civivi, it could be on bearings. Very nice though, as, uh, as expected. Uh, same fit in hand, which is great. Um, and it is, I wouldn't say it's incredibly light because I do have lighter knives. Um, I don't know if I have lighter knives this size though. Uh, there's something in this, this big, so this seven inch range. I don't think I would have anything lighter than this. Um, what does add a little heft to it? You can actually feel when you're holding it. The blade is pulling down a little bit. Um, the thickness of the blade. So I don't remember what the thickness was, um, but it's got a, it's got some good thickness to it, um, for what it is, you know, for not being an overly thick uh, scale setup. Uh, one thing that could be nicer with this is if they recessed where the uh, the pocket clip goes. So if we look in here, it sits on top of the scale. It'd be nice if they did a little cutout to push that down into the scale. So when it's um, when you're sliding this into your pocket, it uh, doesn't catch or anything. Uh, but the deep carry clip is very nice and um, the angle that they put this on um, you can kind of see if you hold it straight it goes back on an angle so when it's in your pocket it actually cants a little bit with your pocket because a lot of times your pocket has a little upsweep to it so when this is in there it'll actually cant so it's a uh, straight it's very nice it's exactly what I expected uh, nothing less nothing more very happy I got it. I'm going to put it into my rotation, uh, beat it up a little bit, and see how it provides uh, on the daily. Now, I guess to um, compare it to some other ones, I have my other carbon fiber knives here. I can show you the difference between what I have and what this provides. So the first one up um, is my uh, Kershaw Launch. I want to say this is the uh, 9, I think. Um, so this is an aluminum body. It's very much different. It's very, it's longer. It's a little leaner. Um, it's a stiletto style knife, but it has a carbon insert here. Now that carbon on the uh, aluminum scales really doesn't give you anything. It's, it's fairly, it's, it's not fairly, it is really smooth. Um, there's no traction there and there's no, um, it, it doesn't, prevent you from doing anything. It lets you slide your finger right up to the button to pop that blade out. This is an automatic if you didn't realize. Um, so it is a, a lock and you push the button and she opens up. So I would not call this a carbon knife. This is a carbon insert uh, versus a full carbon uh, scale. The scales on this though, um, though they're smooth, they are very smooth. Um, there's 
no drag at all. Um, they're they're like a matte finish, and they're they're somewhat grippy. To the, I guess if you had wet hands, it might not be, but like just my regular dry hand, um, it's not it's not slippery at all. Like I can rub my thumb on it, but it's not it's not just like polished metal where it's it's just flying off of there or anything i don't feel like i would lose this grip in any way uh, next up i have a this is my second Civivi that i got actually so this is a uh, mini bull mastiff and this is if you can see there it is carbon fiber inlay into the g10 so these are actually g10 scales and what they do is they put a piece of carbon fiber in there and then they, I'm guessing, blend them together with probably some resin. And then they, uh, they cut these, these scales out. This is very similar. It is smoother because it's kind of polished. Um, so it's a little less uh, textural, even though I said this was smooth. This, my finger slides on a lot easier with this polished handle. I don't know if I can pick that up in the light, but if you can see that it's a lot more shiny than than this one. It's got this like matte finish, and that's because of the polish job on there. Uh, next up, I have a ZT0450, and this, I would say, is similar, but more grippy. So this has a very similar... Um, finish on the scales you can see the pattern is a lot larger it's not a marbled pattern it's just straight uh, woven um, but when I rub my finger on here I don't know if you can hear that but you can it, I wouldn't say that there's bumps or anything it's very smooth but it I don't know it, it, it feels more grippy um, also the shape of this handle fits really well in hand. I really like this knife. I use this one kind of like a dress-up knife uh, if I'm wearing, um, you know, nice clothes or something like that. This is kind of a, a fancy looking knife, right? You know, the, the shape of the blade. It's got carbon fiber. This side is titanium. It's a titanium frame lock. So this is a, this is a higher end knife um, for sure. It uh, has really good action, um, for, especially for being a flipper. Um, I mean, it just kind of flies out. Almost looks like an automatic. But yeah, it's and it drops shut very nice. This is a very, very nice knife. I don't take it out a whole lot because I don't want to beat it up too bad. Um, but in terms of scales, um, definitely a little more grip. And lastly, as you saw in a recent video, I have the uh, CEO in marbled carbon fiber. So this should be the most comparable to this uh, knife in scale. Um, quality and color and everything like that they should be very similar though they're different companies uh marble carbon fiber is um you know it's kind of its own thing you chop it up and that's what it is so it's hard to tell and it's it's gonna be a little different because this is a flat face and this has like a rounded edge to it so it's gonna produce a bit different um light refraction but as you can see, like at that angle, they look very similar because uh, because of the carbon fiber. I will say the uh, the CEO feels a tad bit grippier than the uh, Elementum. Um, again, very smooth, but it's it's almost like it, it's it's almost like it's it's exposed a little more is what it is, just like with the ZT. I think that's what it is, is there's probably less resin that you're feeling. This is probably a thin layer of resin that's been um, like micro polished up or something like that. And this has less of it or just a rougher finish on it. This does feel more grippy, but this is, you know, a completely different knife. This is a gentleman's knife. This isn't anything, this is something you wear in your pocket, you know, your chest pocket. And you really don't it's not, it's not even really made for flipping like that it's actually just made to um, open up one-handed like this and that's it and you got your knife anyway you'd be a gentleman with it 
whatever gentlemen do with knives. I don't know. I just really like this knife. But uh, all in all, this thing seems great. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't wait to get out and use and abuse it. This can be more of uh, my summer elementum, I guess. Uh, they are releasing a Tanto version of these knives, which um, I'm going to have to have. Uh, I don't know why, but I really like Tanto blades. This is a nice blade. I think this is a drop point. I'm pretty sure it's drop point. Um, it's a really good just overall blade. I'm just a bigger fan of Tantos. Um, some reverse Tantos and stuff like that. But... Um, yeah, this, if they do release it, um, I'm sure they will. I think they're coming soon is what it says. I think they make this in the reverse Tonto, and then, which I definitely will get. And if they make this in it, I will get it as, as well. And I have a nice little matching set for no particular reason other than I want it. But um, that's it for now. I'm going to end it off. If you guys like these videos and stuff, please like uh, the video and hit the thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.